School Guru actually Shamiksha happens to be a technology led academic services organization. Uh, we work with uh, Indian government universities and uh, we help them uh, launch and integrate ICT into their programs. Yeah. Distance education, if you integrate with IT, if you integrate with technology, I think there's a huge scope of ensuring that the final delivery, final outcome comes very, very close to the physical format of education. That's where school group plays a big role where we, uh, you know, left to themselves, these universities do not have the resources or the wherewithals to implement such complex technologies or even manage it. So School Guru's technology platform, which has things like the learning management system and ERP solution, it has got the content loaded on top of it, it has got student support, services, project automation, student communication, all of these are built into the platform. So we help these universities automate themselves and launch their online programs or their ICT enabled program on this platform. Since this is a PPP type of a model where the university has to make a, all, absolutely no investment while they launch such a project. And uh, so the technology platform, the team who manages it is completely done by School Guru in partnership with these universities. Today, we are already servicing close to 11 large universities in this country spread across eight odd states. So, and uh, by that method, we happen to be the largest service provider to these universities in this country currently. In India, it's not possible resource-wise, time-wise to build such physical infrastructure overnight. It's not possible. So how do you ultimately fill this gap? How do you ensure that you are being able to train the youth, train the people in the rural parts of the country, people who are deprived because of geography and provide them the same quality of education which is available in the metros of Delhi and Mumbai? How do you do that? We realize that technology is one aspect which can actually remove these barriers of geography and ensure that the best of professors are being able to teach all the students possible in this country. That's, that's, that's the power of technology. And we realize that left to themselves, these universities do not know how to do that, though they have a great brand name. So we realize that we want to ensure that the highest quality of education is provided to almost everybody in this country, irrespective of geography, caste and creed, or even their affordability. So today, all these IC enabled programs or all, all these online programs these universities provide are available to the people at almost the same price as that of a correspondence program from the same university. So we are filling this gap of bringing in the quality education to the rural part of the country and hence actually creating something called the social inclusion in this country. Okay. And that's the, that's the motive. If you look at globally, today there are two, three trends which are catching up. One is most of these large Ivy League universities realize that if today if you look at Oxfords or Harvards of this world, today they teach a group of people. Okay? They are the only a few handful of people who can actually get trained by Harvard today. But however, these universities have realized that if they have to spread the good work that they are doing across the world, they have to take the help of technology. Today, the websites like Coursera or the edXs of this world have proven that today sitting in India, sitting in Delhi here, we will be able to, we can actually go ahead and take a course from Harvard, right? So, so technology has the power to disseminate the learning all across the world without the barrier of, tech, uh, barrier of geography. That's one. Second thing, where the higher education is trending towards is, it's also becoming more contextual when it comes to jobs, when it comes to employment. Today, the concepts of continuing education, concept of skill-based education, are all, concepts of vocational education are something which are catching up which is much beyond your regular degrees and diplomas. Today, it's no more sufficient to just graduate from a school. It's, pos it's important to gather a degree or a particular specialized skill sets. And today, I think technology is playing a huge role when it comes to you know, disseminating this sort of knowledge all across the world. And India is catching up very, very quickly. Challenges were uh, not as severe as they seem to be because I think the time when school guru started off towards the fag end of 2012 i think we were already witnessing an internet revolution in this country so the concept of online education was not new to the vice chancellors that i was talking to people knew that online is the way to go people today most of the vice chancellors in this country realize that three years or five years from now the correspondence based distance education will cease to exist in this country. There will be nothing called correspondence education. It will be either face to face classroom education or it will be online education. These are two formats which will continue in the times to come. So I think they realize that along with me that there is a need
into in, into imbibe technology as we went forward with the uh, modi government coming into picture the digital india wave get caught up and that actually added to the momentum that we wanted to put in the only issue we faced is where is this university leadership team realize that they should do something in online they should do something in technology but the processes involved inside the university which are government universities are very very cumbersome even though they love the project with that school group proposes they can't guess go ahead and place an order with us they have to go through the entire process of approvals tenders selecting the right vendors technical evaluation commercial part so the process involved in finalizing a contract with a university is very very long it typically takes 12 to 15 months time for a school group to sign any contract with a university i think that's the bottleneck in india actually uh, there are two parts to education one is the delivery of the education the interactivity of it and second part is the assessment part of it i think the assessment part is something where india is still lacking uh, a a proper technology led regulated assessment system in india is not available currently but i am i have been told that the ministry of hrd india as well as the ugc is is actually working very very hard to come out with an assessment pattern where the students not only can learn online but can also take examinations online possibly sitting from home most of the private players who are partnered with universities have worked as franchises to these universities they have created their own institutions and taken affiliation from the universities where a school guru decided to not be a front end to universities but decided to sit behind universities work as service providers to them and help these universities enable these universities to do their own bit so today all the courses that school that school guru produces school guru uh, creates school guru you know uh, uh, school guru uh, uh, enforces these courses are not launched by school guru these courses are launched by these universities we are only the back end service provider we are like that intel inside you know the the laptop may be of hp or an ibm or a compaq but the intel inside is the is the is the the chip which ultimately Uh, powers this entire laptop school guru is the chip in this entire online product which this university is offers to student we are like the intel inside in a computer or the visa behind those credit cards that you see that that's the positioning i think we are very very unique and uh, we haven't come across many people who actually provide this type of services and we are miles ahead of competition education is becoming like an open economy in this country the gone are the days when people used to queue up behind colleges and universities to just to stake admission because of the brand name today students have choices students have alternatives so only university only institution who will provide quality education and quality in higher education will be defined by universities who can make people employable if you can actually deliver a product or a service like that that is the university which will survive in the long term and and i think if distance education has to continue for quite some time till india's physical infrastructure catches up i think that's it distance education will continue to remain there so universities if they have to bring in quality into education they can't do it without technology i think technology is an enabler technology is no more an option but almost like the de facto standards to deliver quality education in the distance mode so i see a great future for it Thank you.